Ben sat alone, lost in thought, questioning himself, wondering why he was the way he was, wishing he had the courage to stand up to the bullies who tormented him, and he couldn't face another day at school. Instead, he wandered into the wilderness. As he walked, he spotted a small frog by the edge of a stream. In his desperation and confusion, he thought perhaps this strange encounter could offer some form of release from the turmoil inside him. His thoughts grew darker, clouded by his desire to feel anything different from the pain that consumed him. Ben walked into his room, feeling the weight of his steps. Wow. So, we are back to the number one most racist channel on YouTube. The YouTube that says black people love fried chicken, Asian people can't drive. And actually, I probably shouldn't be saying this and repeating this because, you know, it can get clipped and they're going to say Vince said that. I promise you, I did not say that. So let me run that back. <laughs> The channel that says black people eat chicken, Asian people can't drive and are good at math, Mexican people are illegal, and I'm probably canceled still. I don't know, that's not gonna change nothing, is it? No. I'm canceled. But anyway, y'all get the point. They are racist, like blatantly racist for no reason and face no repercussions. So, I mean, like, I, this video is called Kid Gets Knocked Out in Front of His Crush. Oh, unbelievable. Well, I guess that's not racist, you know, it's embarrassing. Gets knocked out in front of his crush. Me personally, I can't let that slide. <laughs> I get knocked out in front of my crush. I'm coming back tomorrow, the next day, with a heavy backpack. Oh! <laughs> but I ain't even gonna lie to you, young buck. You got knocked out in front of your crush. Your next best plan of action is to find a new crush because that is over with. Especially if it's on camera, they got you, you know, <laughs> It coming out your mouth and everything and you fell asleep and went 9 a and then woke up three hours later talking about oh did i miss biology class what i ain't gonna lie you gotta transfer schools as well because that ain't never gonna die down uh, me personally um i never been in a fight at school or you know what i'm saying like because i was a good kid you know everybody liked me i was cool hey what's up that's fence oh it's fence oh stop the cap <laughs> What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's me, it's me, it's me. You know what I'm saying? I got the Jordans on my feet. The Jordans, you see them? These new. But yeah. Hey, I was that kid, but uh, I mean, hey, I'm sure they'll find a way to make this racist. So, I mean, let's just get into it. Kid gets knocked out in front of his crush. Unbelievable. Let's go. Coming up on tomorrow's teachings. Is that Ali? Hey, you need to step off or I'm finna crash out, cuz. <laughs> oh, about to crash go out down. time. I like that. What's he doing? Once a match is made, the couple engages in a dance of courtship, with the male grasping the female in a tight embrace, known as amplexus. In this intimate position, they may stay locked together for hours, even days. What is he watching? Happy anniversary, baby. Ali? A delicate process. Why was he watching that? Oh. I didn't know you were coming so early. I wanted to surprise you. Your dad let me in. Uh. That reminds me, I got something for you. Stay here. How does he have a girlfriend? Oh! And she's not even ugly. Bruh. I know he did not buy her those. No. Close your eyes. No, <laughs> shut up, you did not. I know you wanted it. You're the best thing. Are they in high school? This is high school love because I wish I would spend $500 for a girl that I was dating in high school. What the hell is even that? Maybe because I've never been in that situation, but I'm just saying, like, 500 of them boys? 500 hundos. Do you know what you can do with $500? That's gas for months. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you drive gas. Well, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, huh? Where I'm from, gas is four dollars a gallon. Five hundred dollars, you straight four months. He ain't got no bills to play. Oh, he got Burberry glasses. Oh, oh, he might be rich like that. I don't know. Hold on, let me let me find out. Let me find out. 
that. <laughs> and all he got was a hug. Where his gift at? Oh. And she cheating on him. Not again. Wait, what is it? It's my ex. Don't what? answer. Why is he calling you? He's been trying to get back with me, but I've told him over and over again that we're done and he just doesn't listen. Cap, I don't believe that. Why don't you just block him? I have. And then he started calling me from other people's phones. He's crazy. Let me talk to him. What? What? No. Let me talk to him. Give me the phone. Let me talk to him. Give me the phone. I will beat the goofy out of him. He better not talk crazy to me. Don't make things worse, Ben. Okay, I won't. Let me talk to him and tell him he should not call you. Ali. Yo, man. I don't know who are you, but you need to stop calling Ali. Yo, who the heck are you, bro? I'm a boyfriend. I'm telling you to stop calling Ali, okay? You don't know who you're talking to. Ali's mine. And you need to step off or I'm finna crash out, cuz. Ooh! Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull up on you now. Over a girl? He can have her. I don't wanna fight. Mm -hmm. He's saying he's gonna come up, but he doesn't know where exactly I live. Oh um, no. My air tag? I'm gonna beat him up. Babe, no, you're not gonna fight him. Yes, I am. I'm gonna protect you. But he's big and scary. What? Hey, are you kidding? I know how to fight. I'm gonna knock him down. Okay? No, you're not fighting. That's enough info, bro. He stayed talking about I'm gonna fight him. After big and scary, I always said, oh, oh, we gotta go. We can't be here when he gets here. Uh, big and scary, I can't whoop him. I'm not big, nor am I scary. I, I don't have nothing for him. These these boys aren't gonna get me out of this situation. He can have you. Wow. And I gotta take that route. I got to, I can't whoop him. I, he, he pull up 6'5", 250. What am I gonna do about that? What am I gonna do about that? He gonna kick me in my head, now I'm dead. Come. Y'all better stop playing with me, bro. Uh, this dude, look at this dude. Like, he got on glasses. I, I mean, he looked kind of built, but I mean, buddy on the phone like a pit bull. That is a dangerous dog. He can't win that battle. I am. Yes, I am. I want to protect you. Yo, whoop his ass, and you got this. You got this. Uh, he you little. Got his new boyfriend? Yes, I am. Oh, it's about to go down. Baby, wait. Stay back, baby. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> so this is who you want to be with? Some little boy that can't protect you? I love you, Ali. More than He's anything. Sleep. Oh. I know we've had our rough times, but I don't care. I'll do anything to make this work. You're mine, and you always will be. Give me my AirPods back. Give me my AirPods back. This boy knocked Ooh. out. Oh my, that's a groupie. Ben lay in his darkened room, feeling the emptiness gnawing at his heart. His girlfriend had left him, her eyes full of pity as she turned away after seeing him beaten. He kept watching the Snapchat stories <laughs> where his bullies proudly <laughs> displayed his defeat. Each video, Perfect. another reminder of his pain and isolation. Yeah, hit with a combo. The world felt distant, and he was left alone with the weight of his grief. Now, he felt lost, adrift in a sea of loneliness. Each day was a struggle. The only way Ben could feel anything close to love was by watching romantic movies like The Notebook, losing himself in their stories, and chasing the fleeting comfort they offered. Yo, Ben. Hey, Ben. Slow down for a second. Hey, I'm talking to you, punk. What do you want? Oh, I just wanted to show you this. You don't want to see this. Is that Ali? Yeah, bro. She told me how small you were. Sorry, bro, she only likes the big ones. This guy has a small wiener and his mother's got cancer. Whoa. Talk about bad luck. What? You didn't think I knew? Ali told me everything. Cancer? That's an ignorant Disgusting. snake. Only poor people have cancer. First of all, that's not even true. What do you mean only poor people got cancer? That, that sentence is just like grammatically incorrect. Like everything just, you know, it's just, it didn't make sense. Only poor people get cancer. 
Mm. Haven't rich people died from cancer? What? What? Go eat some fried chicken. No, what? I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm switching sides, bro. Cause he making me mad. Uh, if there's one thing I, I, I hate more than being racist is, is bullies, dude. Look at this dude. Like, first of all, if you really want to bake, I get to bake you. You trying to pick on this dude cause he can't heat you up. I heat you up like a feed omelet. I really get to bake your outfit. Your clothes wrinkly. Your shirt wrinkly. Come on now, lift your hand. Build like a pit bull. Like I said, build like a bullfrog. Now I'm on you. Come on, bro. Uh, uh, circle head. Uh, fat head. Uh, big cheeks. You know. Come on. Uh, short mustache. I, I, Come on now, bogus earrings. I, I, cause they eating them up for real, bro. Like, come on, don't make me mad. Don't make me mad. Let's go, bro. Couldn't be me, poor bitch. This is a groupie. <laughs> ben sat alone, lost in thought, questioning himself, wondering why he was the way he was, wishing he had the courage to stand up to the bullies who tormented him, and he couldn't face another day at school. Instead, he wandered into the wilderness. As he walked, he spotted a small frog by the edge of a stream. In his desperation and confusion, he thought perhaps this strange encounter could offer some form of release from the turmoil inside him. His thoughts grew darker, clouded by his desire to feel anything different from the pain that consumed him. Ben walked into his room feeling the weight of his steps. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, the day I do that is gonna be my last day on Earth. Wow. I, I, I'm just gonna let y'all know straight up. If y'all ever hear Vince did some freaky stuff like that, that's the last thing you're ever gonna hear about Vince because I ain't gonna be here no more. I, I, I gotta end it today. Like, this man picked up a frog? First of all, I'm not even like sure you're supposed to even touch frogs with your hands. He put it down there on... Didn't they say frogs give you warts? I ain't gonna lie, he got some disease. He does for sure. The light was dim, and everything seemed the same, except for a note lying on his bed. It stood out against the rumpled sheets, small and unassuming, but somehow urgent. I know this is going... Ben, ah, okay. I know this is going to be hard to understand, but I need you to know that I've always loved you and your mom, but I'm sorry, I'm leaving. That's the dad? Your mom has cancer and is probably going to die soon. Also, I met a nice girl at Hong Kong in TJ. We're getting married. His life is trash. Maybe I'll see you someday when you're all grown up. Goodbye, my son. Attached to the note were two books, a thick manual on karate and a bodybuilding guide by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ben Why did he say his name like that? His dad must have left them for him. A silent gesture of encouragement. He found himself absorbed in the pages, his interest growing with each turn. As he read for hours, a spark lit within him. Maybe, with enough practice, he could learn to defend himself, to face his bullies head on. Ben threw himself into training with determination jumped rope with growing speed Ooh, in the he hit the heavy bag until his knuckles ached each day he pushed himself harder after months of hard training ben finally saw the results he was stronger leaner and felt more Ooh. confident the time spent hitting the bag running and shadow boxing had paid off ah uh, his back was trash yeah Sound like a plan? Sure, but as long as we stop off at the food court, I'm hungry. Shit, I'm down. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you already know. You already know. Hold on, hold on. Ben, is that you? <laughs> Are you working out? Yes. You? Hey, beat the brakes off of him. Back. Beat him up, come on. <laughs> is this karate? Are you trying to learn how to fight so you can get your revenge back on me? No. Come on, give my bag back. Uh-oh. Well, even if you could learn how to fight, I bet you wouldn't even be able to land a hit on me. Don't touch You're me. too slow, too chunky, and too small. 
He actually is Ian big. He lunged forward with a left hook aimed straight at Ben's head. Weave. But for Ben, time seemed to slow down. He felt a calmness wash over him, realizing just how much his training had sharpened his reflexes. Da -da 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 -da. And then knew in that moment, Make he up. was ready to take on this fight with ease. Oh! oh. He died! He, that's the way he's living that. That boy threw him up and he landed on his head on the concrete. No, he's dead after dead. He better not get up talking about, oh my god, I'm hurt. He died. Oh! My hero. No, get away from me. So, yeah, we'll eat later or something? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, it's salad. But then I'll see if maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> wait. What is it? Why am I taking home, taking you home with me? And right now you're leaving Ian right the way you left me. Babe, when I saw you get beat up, it made me feel icky. So? But then I saw you beat up Ian and it made me more attracted to you. I mean, that's just how us girls are. Well, that's too bad. But that's not how things work. Thanks. If you love me, you have been with me the whole time. You know how hard it was the whole couple of months? Huh? My mom is in the dead bed with cancer. And my dad, he just left us and marrying a new bitch. Oh. And guess what? I have fucking herpes with a fucking frog. So screw you. I know he had. Oh! Oh my god! What is this? Ben fully embraced his new persona. I know he had a disease, the though. Ultimate Sigma male. Drawing inspiration from figures like Andrew Tate. I spit on her. He vowed never to be mistreated by anyone again, especially not by a woman. He felt stronger, more self-assured, ready to face whatever came his way without fear or doubt. What's up, guys? No, oh, shut up, Oliver. Anyway, um, I knew he had some disease from that frog. I, I, I was hoping they didn't just leave that out. It ain't no way he got away with that frog because you can't touch frogs without catching some disease. You know, they say you touch frogs, you get worse instantly. Yeah, I'm good on that, you know? Frogs are dirty, but um, I did not expect it to take that turn at the end. He gave her that hadouken, and she flew into the car and got ran over and died. And he walked off like nothing happened. He's going to jail tomorrow. Like, <laughs> why did the story just end like that? Like, uh, he didn't even win in the end, you know, because he's going to jail. And he got herpes. Like, nah, nah, I, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, that ain't it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what, what, what was this about? Did it have anything to do with the title? I guess kinda. Kids get knocked out in front of his crush. And, you know, he turned into a Sigma. Like, what was the lesson behind this? Be strong? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna waste time like I always do trying to decode it. I don't think it's no decoding this. I think it's just dumb. You know, like, it's just dumb. I've come to the conclusion that the purpose of making these skits, like, the writer, the mastermind behind all this is to Make the dumbest thing possible. Like, look at this on my screen. Evil clan abducts black kid. Watch what happens next. We watched that one. And it was racist. I don't even know why I clicked on something like that. Look at the thumbnail. He's eating fried chicken. That's racist. That's not even a dude that was eating. Okay, you know, that got nothing to do with me. I don't know. Where'd they find that kid at? I don't know. But back to this one. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, me personally, I don't think I would ever been in that situation. Number one, she's not getting no AirPod Maxes out of me. Them boys are five hundred dollars. That's a dead deal. Number two, I'm not fighting her, no fighting no dude over her because hey, honestly, it's not worth it. You know, um, if he wants you that bad and they gotta come to where we gotta fight, he can have you. And he's big guy. No, 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 no. I avoid dangerous situations at all costs. I don't want none of them problems. And number three. He was touching animals. I knew it was weird in the beginning, you know, when he was watching that animal documentary, but that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't it. You know, people that do stuff like that are, you know, most likely murderers. I mean, he might turn into a murderer when he gets older, and I don't want problems with him either. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, kid gets knocked out in front of his crush. What y'all thought about it? Have y'all ever been in a situation like this? Let me know something down below. And um, y'all know what to do. If you're not too busy, too much to subscribe. We're over to 10,000 subscribers. And hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Could it just make sense? Like button if you liked the video. No. Why did he touch the frog?